Hey, it's Clay and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CNSL. We will take a look at the daily time frame. Now before we go any further, I don't want any of this to come across or make it seem like that this is some sort of great discovery on my part or that I have some sort of special skill or anything like that. Actually, quite the opposite. I assure you anybody that uses charts and understands charts has taken notice of this level that I'm gonna talk about. And I bring all that up because when a lot of people are watching the same level and wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want, but it can produce some very dynamic price movements. And that's what we have with this area down here at $3.90 going into next week here. Why is 390 so important? Well, if you go back through the history of things, you can see 390 held as support, created a very nice bounce. Once again, right there, held as support, created a very nice bounce, and then you fast forward to today's price movement, and you can see that the price is once again very, getting very close to that level. And now all of a sudden, you know the price, like I said, right down around this area. So at this point, it becomes a very, very valid and rational question of can the price get another bounce, is history gonna repeat itself? Now don't get me wrong, and I w really wish I could say trading was this easy. Just because the price has bounced off this area several times before, does not mean that it's guaranteed to happen again. Now, would it be shocking to see some sort of bounce? Like I said, is it a rational thought to have? Yeah, it absolutely is, but that doesn't mean that it's for sure going to happen. So as always, risk management, risk control, very, very important with things like this. But that is definitely a level, like I said, not some sort of great discovery. A whole lot of people are gonna be watching it and wondering the same thing. And for that reason, just because it's that low that you know has bounced many times, if the price does come down here, and then just continues on down through, that would be a big sign on the bearish part that uh, you know that they're really taking that much more control. Because uh, yeah, Friday, not the best day at all, but if the price now just crashes down through the 390 mark, that would just be further confirmation that the bears really are taking back over. In the event this is some sort of bottom down here at 390 and the price tries to bounce back upwards, key level of resistance to watch is gonna be that purple line right there, which on my chart denotes the 50 day simple moving average. Right now that's valued up there right around $4.50, but in my opinion, top priority right now is not really breaking levels of resistance. Top priority by far is just trying to consolidate out and chip away some sort of bottom, and we'll see if 390 is gonna be that bottom or not, because like I said, the price is definitely well within striking distance. So a whole lot of people are gonna be watching this level next week. Let's see what happens with it. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.